In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use ThinkCircuit tools to create your ThinkCircuit introductory paragraph. Let me remind you what an introductory paragraph looks like. It has three parts. Sometimes we call the first sentence a hook, and it could be more than one sentence, but it's where you engage the reader's interest with a personal anecdote, a quote, or a statistic. We have a transition which moves the reader smoothly from the hook to the thesis, which itself has three parts, a subject, opinion, and a reason. Now we can also call these three parts a lead. The lead starts the reader thinking about your topic. The bridge connects the lead to the claim, and the claim, that's what you call a thesis or an argumentative paper. It still has a subject, an opinion, and a reason. Here's a video of how ThinkCirca puts these together for you by having you write a connect, a summary, and then your claim. Here I'm going to show you how to use the three parts of Think Circa to create your introductory paragraph. First, there's the connect. In the connect, they'll give you a question that connects the idea of what you're going to read to your own thoughts and experiences. This one says, does your school provide mostly healthy or junky foods for students? Explain. I wrote, my school cafeteria serves healthy food every day. In fact, we are required to choose a vegetable and a piece of fruit with our lunch. For breakfast, they serve yogurt and granola, and instead of regular Pop-Tarts, they serve whole grain Pop-Tarts. They don't taste too good, but they are healthier for us. That's my connect. I want the reader to start thinking about healthy food and their own experiences in school. By clicking, you're gonna go through several steps and then you get to the summary. They give you some sentence stems here. And so I've taken those sentence stems and finished them. When you write this, it should be based on what you've read. Junk food is a problem because it leads to obesity and healthy health problems like diabetes. Some people are proposing that governments and schools should ban junk food because according to statistics, 17% of school-aged children are obese. Yet some argue personal responsibility is more important to health because it's not the government's place to tell us what to eat. So far, I've got the connect, I've got the summarize. Now I'm going to jump to the part where we write our claim, our thesis. When you get to claim, you'll see a link that says, need help getting started? And they give you another sentence stem that you can copy, place, and edit in your net box. So I chose would not, edited that in the stem, and then added my the end of the sentence. Banning junk food in schools would not teach kids to make healthy eating choices, because even though they might be eating healthier food, if they don't learn why they should avoid junk food, they will continue to eat it outside of school. When it's time to create my introduction, I want to put all three of those pieces together. We're going to skip all this for now. We're going to hit next. Here in step six is a tiny text box for writing your essay. Today, we're just focusing on the introduction. When I go over here to the part that says your work, Here's my connect, here's my summary, and here's my claim. I can hit copy and it'll jump right over. If I need my summary and my connect. So I have to copy and paste that by myself, put it in here, take out the word connect, take out the word summarize, and then I have put all three of those sections into one paragraph. Let me show you what it looks like 
written as a paragraph. Here is an introductory paragraph. Your Think Circa essay is not going to be a short little thing. Look at this introduction. My school cafeteria serves healthy food every day. In fact, we're required to choose a vegetable and a piece of fruit with our lunch. For breakfast, they serve yogurt, granola, and instead of regular Pop-Tarts, they serve whole grain Pop-Tarts. They don't taste too good, but they are healthier for us. Eating too much junk food is a problem because it leads to obesity and health problems like diabetes. Some people are proposing that governments and schools should ban junk food because, according to statistics, 17% of school-aged children are obese. Yet some argue personal responsibility is more important to health because it's not the government's place to tell us what to eat. Banning junk food in schools would not teach kids to make healthy eating choices because even though they might be eating healthier food at school, if they don't learn why they should avoid junk food, they will continue to eat it outside of school. Now, this introduction, if I had asked you to write just one paragraph, this would have been a great, this would be a beautiful one paragraph essay. It has a thesis, it has counter arguments, it has reasons in there, it has a conclusion. But we're not just going for one paragraph. Our goal is for this just to be the introduction. Then we have a full paragraph about the health problems with obesity. And then a full paragraph of the, the counter argument that it's not the government's job to tell families what to feed their children. And then finally, conclusion where we rebut that counter argument. So, just a quick little lesson that should get you started on writing good introductory paragraphs.